This is How Legends Are Made. The Great Western Reining Horse Association brings you the best little derby in the West. I'll tell you what, with over $200,000 in added money and prizes, this boasts to be one of the best little derbies, and that's why the name is the best little derby in the West. We also have a red shirt futurity for the four-year-olds that's going to be coming through, and we are going to take you on a tour of the entire event. We'll take you to Cowboy Church, hear from some of the winners of this event. Also, we're going to talk about the expansion here at the horse park. Join us all week long for the best little derby in the West 2023. This is how legends are made. Next year will be our 10th anniversary for the best little derby. We started out with what was going to be the best little derby has got into now 600 stalls, probably 500 dead horses, and $154,000 in added money for $220,000 for the prizes and, and added money, and one of the top 25 horse reigning shows in the, in the world. So we're not little anymore, but yeah. that's our name. <laughs> that's our name. <laughs> it's exciting. It's fun. We're going to have... We were a whole week full of uh, a lot of horse showing going on. A lot of great horses and just some great competitors and we're gonna have a good time. We have some exciting news going on coming up in June. It is the TKO. Can you tell us? I've heard about it. I've heard people talking about it. You and I have visited a little bit. Can you tell us what it's going to bring to the trainers, the owners, and how this is going to play out? You know, it's uh, we, 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 we we keep telling we're, we're, we're thinking outside the box, and uh, we've been thinking about doing this for a long time. And um, so we brought it's it's TKO the knockout. Um, world premiere reigning event. What makes it a completely different outside the box is um, there's no aged events. So there's no, no fraternities, no derbies, no maturities. It's just the open, the intermediate open, limited open. Anybody open. can come play. Yep, it's all the category one classes. The only difference is there's $154,000 in added money. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Yes. It's a place to come and show your horse. It is. It's a place for your for your owners to to want to pump horses into here. Well, you know, and the funny part is, is that um, uh, you know what? When you get um, there's certificates you can get for your horses. Okay. And it, it goes from like here's a, a silver certificate, gold, uh, a platinum, and it's based on money earned on category one. Uh, well, what better place to do is come someplace where there's a lot of money in category one. Sure. That's what we've got. Um, so the other thing is, is that uh, in the NRHA, our world champions, reserve world champions, the top 10 world finalists are all based on these category one classes. Nothing on the category two, the, the you know, the fraternities, derbies and stuff like that. All category one. So, um, and there are people uh, back east that, you know, I mean, um, they make a trailer race out of it. I mean, you right. go and you just, you're trying to hit, it's like rodeo. Yes. You know what? You're just trying to hit everything you can to, to try to earn enough money to be at the top of the, 
the list at the end of the year. Washington has a show um, right before us. I mean, right on that okay. weekend, right before we come into ours. Uh, the NRHA Derby is going to be like right after, right after us. I mean, it's we're right in the middle of all of that. Um, but you know, the funny thing is, is that if you have ever wanted to be a world champion or a top downer, this is the show okay. to come to. Most classes you're going to go to, thousand dollar added, two thousand dollar added, and um, our open class is twenty thousand dollars added. That's nice. Intermediate, both the open and the non pro. Intermediate, it's fifteen thousand dollars added. Well, that makes it instead of like you said, a trailer race, a place you can come, show your horses, show off your horses to the owners, to the public, and it's all going to be on video too. We're going to have this stuff going live stream now. Everybody can watch it. The dates on it. June. Oh, we've Actually, got it right there. 5th through the 11th. 5th through the 11th. George, how do, how do they go about registering for this and, and entering? Is it, are entries open now? Can you start registering? Yeah, you can now. They, um, uh, there's, you can follow us on Facebook. It's uh, the TKO World Premiere, I think is the Facebook page. Uh, TKOraining.com. That'll get you on the website. All information's on there. Uh, your online entry form. Any other, you know, what stall rates, you know, anything you want to know. This will be a this will be a great, great show. I'm looking forward to it. Yep. So cheer up, my brother. Coming up after the break, we're going to go to Cowboy Church. Yes, we'll understand it. This break brought to you by Tim Bauer with Equine Oasis. Tim, I always love interviewing you. And the thing is, the chat before the interview is just as fun <laughs> and afterwards. This guy, we see him at all the reigning horse shows. I'll tell you what, what an amazing sponsor of the reigning horse shows all over but the best little derby in the west and these shows that george does talk to me a little bit about your sponsorship with them and and why you love coming here well it's it's close to home uh and it's just a special group up here it's nice to have a family come to the show and it seems like that's what the whole group of people does george just you can't say enough about how he puts on a show and makes everybody feel at home and happy to be here and there's so many come back just because it's the show and it's George and yeah. Well, now here's a question for you that I hadn't thought about because we've added a show now. Mm -hmm. Coming next month, we've got the TKO. Are you going to be here? Because I know you're always on the road. <laughs> I'll be always. here. Always. He's going to be here. I'll be here and then I'm dead heading to Oklahoma City for the Derby. So oh, Man, that's awesome. That's fun though. Tim, you you're put together the saddles for these. Mm -hmm. All of Georgia's shows. You're the man behind the saddles. You've got Equine Oasis here. Great sponsor. Anything and everything. Let's talk a little bit about what you carry in your trailer. Well, we, we try to make pretty much most of what we, we sell. We make our own saddles, the show pads, the bits. Uh, you know, and on down the line to the leather and the strap goods. And of course, we're, we're the Kimes dealer and Kimes has just been a great thing with Yellowstone and everything for us. Well, I've noticed that your, your inventory outside is getting larger and larger. Yeah. I mean, the racks of clothing and stuff, that's pretty neat. Yeah. Yeah. And last year we started our own work pad company. So it's kind of nice to have our own work pads and we can custom do about anything anybody wants to do. Yeah, that's neat. Well, and you've got a little bit of a shop with you. I mean, you've got some parts and pieces if people break down at these shows. Yeah, yeah, know. it is fun when in somebody trip, comes running in and saying, and I'm and headed in and we're broke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, that, so that works. Now you become a saddle maker, a sponsor, and a mm -hmm. great friend. Tim, I got to tell you, it is so great to have you at these shows and see you and be yeah. with you. We'll talk to you a little bit later. Appreciate it. Thank you. He was an outlaw. George King was the one who inspired the whole Cowboy Church thing with me. A band of unschooled ruffians and a few old fishermen. 2005, George at his place, uh, they were going to host a show. And George asked me, hey, would you come to a Cowboy Church? And uh, I don't think I had ever done a Cowboy Church before. And so, 
So uh, we showed up at George's, uh, their, their little the barn they had where they did a show and, and out in his, his backyard, we set up some chairs and, and there was 10 or 12 people there and I brought my guitar and did a cowboy church and then George said, hey, I, we'd like to start doing this. So really that inspired all the cowboy churches we did. It all started right there at George and Robin King's. An angry crowd, make the way stand still. That he spoke in many parables. We just want to do something that's going to meet these people on their level. And these are horse people and Western people. And, and, uh, but no matter where we go, the message doesn't change that it's all about Jesus Christ and, and the hope that he has and the life that he has to offer us that's a lot different than what's going on in this world right now. I think people just, they're kind of drawn to something that is just kind of um, outside of normal, what you, we would call normal traditional church here in America. This particular event sets us up for success because it just blesses us to feel like we can be an encouragement to whomever we run across. And Jesus answered, my kingdom is not of this world. Anytime I can do something with George and Robin, um, I'm just blessed to, to be a part of it and to, uh, to work with them. They've just been a huge blessing to me. So cheer up my brother, live in the sunshine. Yes, we'll understand it all by and by. We'll understand it all by and by. Bye. Amen. We like to take our company to the exhibitors. Being at the horse shows is where it's at. We show horses, so we're in the industry, we're out in the show pen, we're in the arena, we're in the barns. Humbly speaking, we kind of know what we like and we know what kind of works out there. So we've got straws that start out at 70 and go all the way up to 185. Greeley Hatworks build all of our felt hats. Uh, we do that for a number of reasons. One, the quality of the product, hands down. And a couple of the performance sides to the hat make it the best, their customer service, they're a family-run company. It's Trent Johnson and his daughters and then about 18 staff members. So that aligns with our business model. This is our first show in Nampa, Idaho. Lee Latham has been the warmest uh, vendor coordinator. The facility here, all the staff members, I mean, everybody not only has come and checked us out because they like what they see, but everybody here is very friendly. The area is gorgeous. The facility is nice. There's plenty of reasons for us to come back, hands down. A riddle scavenger hunt. The witty girls at the scavenger hunt is the ones you do not want to miss coming up after the break. We stopped by the bar. Okay, yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> this break brought to you by McDowell Rainers. Okay, so folks, I am here with the McDowells. I always love this interview because it changes so progressively with not only your horses, but your family. Kids are growing. You guys are running all over the place. Horses everywhere. I had the chance, Amber, to talk to Matt a little bit before our interview a day or so ago. And he says that we were talking about your Facebook pictures <laughs> yeah. with your new baby. My favorite thing in the world to do, take pictures of my baby. Matt said that you have taken over kind of the reproduction end of things. And tell us a little bit about your full crop, will you? Well, well thanks, Dusty. I like to call it a horse trainer's 401k. So <laughs> as we get a little <laughs> older here, we're trying to grow our program and, and grow our, rep our breeding program. And that's been a passion of mine for as long as I can remember. So this year we've got 13 foals on the ground and I'm really excited that next year we've got about 15 to 20 coming. So we're in it uh, 
full force right now. So yeah, it's been been real busy, but I'm enjoying every minute of it. Let's talk about your show on yesterday. It sounds great. Oh, I uh, got a few new horses this year, so I was testing them out yesterday, and it went really good. Like a few of those new horses showed good. My I showed my son's horse; he was good. I was top three or four in both on the novice horse classes, and then I was kind of schooled all my derby horses and tried to get them all ridden yesterday. And I'm looking forward to the derby this week. I got a pretty good crop of derby horses and three year olds this year, so training has been good. Clients are great, and you know it's always family fun for us. So we're here to do that too. Yeah. Now you touched on when you were saying I rode my son's horse. We want you to tell the crowd about Mason and what's going on with him and his showing and really how far that kid's progressed. You know, you do stuff with your kids and you you try to build confidence in your kids and uh, Mason just took to the horses. I remember the first time Amber literally threw him up and took a whip to him to make that make him lope. He was crying <laughs> and screaming. I heard him from the from the outback forty and and he and once he did that, the kid took to horses. And it's been such a confidence builder for him. You know, my Maddie and our daughter showed sheep. My uh, other son, Gunner, he's a wrestler and he's a very good athlete. And so he's got his confidence. So it's really neat to me to see all your kids doing something that builds their confidence for life and something they're working for and, and goals. Let's talk about the TKO. Yeah. Are you going to be coming back to the TKO here in June? Yes. It's it's a cool event. We're really excited about it. Our clients love it. And it's, you know, it's a, it's a, something that can put you up there in the world standings real fast. And I started, I don't know if people know this, but I, I won my first rookie check at 31 years old. I wasn't raised in the sport. I didn't do this sport. I was self-taught. It was something my wife got me into when we met, and I never planned on being a horse trainer. It's just something, but I love competition. And the, those deals where rookies and non-pros can come and they can win win a lot of money in those events and, and reach some goals without traveling a million miles, it, it's really neat. It's going to be great, and I'm excited to show a few horses here. And George always has a, you know, looks – above and beyond to, for the next best thing and i'm really excited about his event well that's neat and what a family you talk about diversity we've got we've got full crop we've got kids coming up we're coming to the tko we come out of an outfitter bunch hunting yes. fishing yeah loving every minute of it yep yeah i was raised tra uh, not training horses at all i was an outfitter and we had a cessna i flew airplanes and and packed <laughs> horses and packed deer and elk and goats and mountain sheep and all that stuff so changing over to this has just been what God's will was for our family, and we've enjoyed it all every step of the way. Well, we sure appreciate your sponsorship, and it was a great interview with you folks. Good luck the rest of the week. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Here we are. Quote, no hour of life is wasted that is spent in the saddle. Is that a president? I want to say John Wayne. Who in World War II did V for victory? Winston Churchill? That, that's a tequila. It's a worm. Well, yeah, well, well, we can think of that too. Cheers, we know our boots. <laughs> hey, are you guys playing this game? You are. You are. Oh, I know the answer before you give me the question. Yeah? Super Mario. <laughs> we still don't have three and seven. Well, I say 77 if I had to guess late 70s. Well, it could be, I guess. But starting in junior high. Do we go with the junior high or the high school? Only because seven is my lucky number and that would give me two sevens. That's my only logic there. You, she can say up or down, hot or cold, or she can say bingo. No, we might have to do the math. Because we had, we had in the 70s somewhere we were thinking. Can we call Rick? Can you text Rick? No! We no, stopped by the bar. Tonight. Okay, yeah. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you very much. That bartender down there is dynamite. And if you don't like that, I got Rip right here. He'll dance with you all night long. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta find three and seven. I don't know. We'll keep walking. How many miles does Tim Bauer go? Where's Tim? Oh, right. Tim. Tim. Well, we, we, we're gonna ask you 20 questions so we can come up with a good answer. It's higher than 20,000? Yes. Higher than 40? No. It's between 20 and 40. Higher than 30? So it's between 20 and 30? Okay, between 27 and 30? So between 20 and 27 then. Oh, lower. Okay. <laughs> 26K. Yeah. Pink. I think we figured that one out. Yeah, with this is, we missed this one. Oh, I see one. Okay, moving on. Oh, you can get free drinks if you want. We we did something else. And we spill, yeah. Thank you, thank you. That was a great idea. We yeah. need the cup so we don't spill. <laughs> 
Here you go, friend. Thank you. Wow. Crazy. Look at the river run. That's my lucky number. We got to find it. We don't know who number seven is. I'm not going out there. Seven. Oh my gosh. Who said this quote? There are three kinds of people. Those that learn by listening to others. Those that learn by watching others. And there are those that have to pee on the fence by themselves. That's it. We got it. I think I am we got right. it. I think we got it. Okay. We got 16. We just needed the right number of drinks to get the answer. Yeah. yeah. I think we did excellent. We did better than really good. We got extra credit. Thank you. <laughs> what a great opportunity here. We get to talk with Dan Browning of Rain Dancer Video. Uh, I'm glad to be here. Thanks for having me. Yeah, pretty amazing one man band. And uh, what he gets done with what takes a whole production of people to. Uh, at any other horse show. Well, we don't forget we got Caleb Tipton behind us with all of his graphics and his live scoring. So it, yeah. it's a whole support team with, you know, it's not just myself. I couldn't do it without Caleb, couldn't do it without Jana and all the good scribes that you guys have. All taking care of you. And it's great. And it's it's a great team you've got here. It's great. It's been awesome. We are unique. You know, let's talk about that a little bit about uh, the fact that um, <clears throat> you get quite a bit when you when you actually come to this horse show. The way that I look at it is more of a service more than trying to sell you something. I mean, you know, they help out with getting me here. Uh, you know, so they've got a time delay review. So when they get out of the pen, they can go down there and watch it automatically. I've got my video trailer sitting over there in front of Tim Bauer's booth that they can go over there 24 hours a day and watch their video as many times as they want to. It's just a self-service. They're also archived online. Uh, the facility gives us a good internet service, so it's good quality online and you can watch it. Go back to your horse trailer and watch it again. So let's talk about, uh, Dan, we have known each other for how long? Oh gosh, well, you know, I started videoing because my wife, Rainy, was a rainer. At the same time, you guys were doing it, and you were doing theme shows. And uh, her rookie year, we wanted to have something to help her train, so I bought a video camera. That was in 1997. And I just started going to shows, and I asked the other people, if, you know, would you want to be videoed? And I remember Billy Campbell, I asked him, I said, would you be interested in a video? And he says, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> That's back in the old VHS days. They would take their tape, they would hold two hours of video, and they would bring it to us each show, and I'd, I'd have a, a stack of videotapes, and I would just put it in when they come in, and just add it onto their tape, and that was it. I started videoing standing on a barrel at J.D. Anderson's outdoor slide track. That was great. <laughs> and, and, and so I'm here with my daughter, and of course, people know Stephanie Forth was king at the time, and she was probably about 10 or 11, I don't know pretty young but we were up there and she was riding a couple of horses and about every class she could and, and dan's like you know what i i tell you what for 10 bucks 10 bucks for the whole day i'll i'll videotape you and it was like and she probably had like that probably 15 runs or 20 runs she, <laughs> she took advantage of it she did she did but what a what a what a great tool that was yeah. to be able to have to do well that. it is a great training tool and that's yeah. that's why we we try to look at it as a service and give you all the opportunity you, you know you you pay a little bit of fee with your entry fee but you've got all kinds of opportunity to review it by yourself with your trainer uh, if you want to sell a horse you've you've got the opportunity there to show it to somebody you know we've got the big screen tv out there so they watch it live we do a live webcast uh everything on the the webcast is archived there's about six or eight TVs around this facility. They all have the, you can watch the show almost anywhere in the building. It's got to a point where it's a, a really good production now between Dusty and Justin, uh, who puts all this stuff together for us. Yeah, you never know what these two are gonna come up with either. They, <laughs> That's right. They, they, ha they put together some good material. I always try to make it a point where they can always see the arena. It may be a little bitty picture, and it's got a timer so they know that they've got, you know, five minutes to run out there and feed the horses and get back. 
before they miss something. And so, so that's always something that I've always tried to do is try to keep the audience informed of what's going on at the show. Thank heavens, I, all these high techy people all around me that uh, keep this thing going. And well, it's working so far, so thanks for having me. I sure appreciate being here. Oh man, you're just a, well, you're a good friend and, and, uh, and, and part of the family here at, uh, at the Great West. It is a good family too. Yeah. Winner, 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 number one. After the break, you can hear the sights and the sounds from our first draw party of the 2023 season. This break is brought to you by Rock Creek Raining Horses. Jackson trains and has people that ride with him at home. Anywhere from 20 to 30 head of horses. He really focuses on trying to get a handful of futurity prospects for the years and showing the aged events. Great group of non-pros with him as well. And it's just so much fun to have all of them there. The industry has changed so much. I mean, I remember when I was a child, I ran for some uh, national titles, world titles, but they were like Saddlesmith series. So my dad and I, we would travel 60,000 miles in a pickup for a whole summer, just to one weekend after another, after another, try to like, just get that title. Um, those are some really fun uh, memories that I have of a kid, you know, competing. Both our kids are showing. Um, Kyle started showing just at the end of the last year um, when he was six, and we're going to let him show at this show, just getting him in the pen, you know, youth classes, things like that. Clay has done tremendous. I mean, he's won 10 and under in Oklahoma championship down there on that same horse here, qualifying in the U to go to Oklahoma. I think he marked like a 73 on her, or 73 and a half. I don't, yes. It was an amazing run. Um, and she was a four-year-old. It's the same horse I've been showing. And so kind of crazy how the we push our horses around to our kids and just throw them on, you know, and say, go get it. miss out be sure you register now at the best little derby for our upcoming show next month the tko world premier reigning event iowa horse park foundation thank you thank you for the beer Alrighty, we start with the multiple entries so that we can ensure we have proper spacing Bill Colbert, Kathy Martin, Greg Peterson, Gavin Warren. All right, Gavin, you got two horses? Don't look like Gavin. Yeah, right, right, sure, sure. Let me see your ID. Ooh, 10, good job, way to go. And number three, woo-hoo. Oh yeah, he's just, just sneak up and scare me like that. Go ahead, pick any one of these. Not that one, okay, that's good. 48, good job. You gotta go talk to Dusty. And you gotta give him a song. You've always had a song you wanted to ride to. Now's your time. Because you're here at the best little derby in the West. Let's do <laughs> Get Busy by Sean Paul. Yeah, excellent. Vanessa Rogers? Yeah, buddy. Here we go. Winner, 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 number one. Woo! Oh, everybody else is happy now. Everybody else is happy. You know what that means? Clean ground. <laughs> Zach Bourne, Joanne Pettit, Vicky Diaz, Ooh, buddy, George Deptarius. Is that, that close? I got the George part right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So what we're going to do tomorrow is we're going to start at 9 o'clock in the morning. Okay? 
because I'm looking for friends. Okay, I'm making friends. Hand away. We're getting there. We're getting there. 38. 33. Well, wait a minute. No, you got to take it right that way. Yep, it's 33. Yep, 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 yep. What a six. One's already gone. Paley, Capacci. That's Italian. I don't know. I don't know. Is that Italian? Capacci. See, I told you. It's a good lucky guess. Madison. Madison Bowman. We're getting there. 51. Way to go. Woo! Woo! There's nothing but good ones left. But you're lucky. All the bad ones have already been taken. I can't take it. I, 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 40. Woohoo! I told you they're good ones. Lucky 13. I'm going to start doing magic tricks. 43. That's yours. Lisa D'Antoni. 49. And number 41. Go ahead. Let her rip, Tater Chip. We're kid friendly here now. Don't forget to check out. Check out in the office. I have gotten writer's cramp because I am signing checks every day. All right. Hey, thanks, everybody. There's some free beer. Having fun. Coming up after the break, we will bring you the Stanzik and Hansen Award. Rennick Raining Horses will bring you this next break. I'll tell you what, this is an interview I have been looking forward to for several years. Nicole Rennick, Rennick Raining Horses, one of the toughest gals to get an interview with, and this is why. She is always so busy. She's got horses galore, and she's just wanted everywhere she's busy let's talk about how many ponies you brought here to the best little derby um yeah i think i brought uh we've got 10 of them over there so a, a good amount not too many but a good amount so we were talking just a little bit earlier uh before this interview started and uh you ran today i did yes that's, now that's kind of exciting where we, where are we today uh well we're right now we're leading the open class actually on one of the horses that i'm gonna uh do the derby on so yeah, he was really good, marked a 148, and hopefully that holds. Yeah, it should hold. That, that'll that be pretty close. Yeah. I think they're they're getting down towards the I end of the they class. Yeah, they're so getting towards the end of it, for sure. That'll be neat. Yeah. So tell us, now you've moved into Sky River Ranch. Uh, I will be moving in at the end of this month, so the 1st of June I'll be in there, yes. And you'll be you'll be training out of there? I am, yes. And I'm forward to it. there's going to be two of you in there training out of there. Yep. Do you want to talk a little bit about that? <laughs> My fiancé, Adam Johnson, and I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. We've uh, kind of been talking about it. For a little while, you know, hoping that things could work out and that that could work to get us both in there together. So, and it finally did. And I'm, we, we get along great and love what we do. So I'm really looking forward to getting in there and just being in the same barn as him and doing our thing. Well, that'll be fun. Two different entities, yep. three different entities. If you talk yes. about the Strouds yes, and absolutely. everything coming across there, but three great minds, three sets of great minds yep. coming together. I can't wait to see what comes out of yeah. that barn. I'm, I'm super excited. And very thankful that they gave the opportunity to come in there. I'm looking forward to it. And now in the Derby on Saturday, you have five entered? Three entered. Three entered. I have three, three entered. entered. Yep. Yep. I'll have, uh, I'll show one. Um, he's a four-year-old in the novice horse part of it. Okay. Um, he's newer to me. Uh, so we're just going to do the novice horse. Here's a non-pro horse, but we're just kind of finishing a few things on him and getting him ready for her. So I'll do that. And then I have, I'll have two in the open Derby itself. Yep. Oh, that'll be fun. Yeah. Well, we're looking forward to watching it, Nicole. It was a great interview, and I'm so glad we got to talk to you yeah. finally. Thank Congratulations you. Thank on you your engagement, much. and yeah. uh, and have a great time on your at your wedding and your honeymoon. That's going to be quite be a vacation. Exciting. It's going to be a great vacation. Looking forward to it. Thanks a bunch, yeah. Nicole. Thank you. been told this and, and you know and it's really good to hear it is is that when people come to our horse show um it's not just about the uh, all the added money all about the prizes that what we've got is a um it's a sense of family and hopefully everybody that's here feels that 
Um, and so we are, that, and, and that's kind of what we're about. Um, I don't know if you've noticed that we start with the, you know what, we, we have a search bank on banner. We start with a prayer every morning. Um, we um, uh, do a lot to try to take care of uh, each other in our family here. And we hope that you feel like you're part of the family. Anyway, um, so several years ago, we had two people who were part of that family that actually passed away. And hopefully that you had an opportunity to, to meet them. One of them was Becky Hansen. And Becky had just, an, she was, an, she was a, a, an incredible horse trainer, but uh, she was, um, she had cancer, it was in her back. It, 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 it took her out of the saddle. She wasn't able to, um, to ride anymore, but she, she was, had this uncanny eye for taking pictures and took the most magnificent pictures. Um, and, and she had such wit and she ended up, she started a Facebook page and you just loved reading about it. She was funny. She was, uh, but she just had in what we call the big picture. She just had the ability to um, see the blessings and see what uh, um, uh, the joy that life had in it. Um, her, her saying, what was her saying was spreading joy one image at a time. We've carried on that tradition, um, carry on that spirit that she had um, for seeing the big picture. Um, so in 20, I'll just show you, 2020, we uh, gave the, the recipient was Valerie Vernon. Uh, 2021 was some guy by the name of George King. And in 2022, we have um, someone that I would imagine that everybody here has come in contact with, uh, either here at our shows or somewhere within the Northwest and their shows. And if you haven't gotten yourself to the show office, because um, you got somebody else doing your entries, uh, you need to make your way to the show office because um, um, our 2022 recipient is Jana Day. And just to give you, yeah, there you go. Thank you. Um, and just to give you a little bit of a background, uh, so Jana, uh, unfortunately, last year, um, um, as life does for us, gives us some uh, trials and tribulations. Um, she had a rare blood disease, um, resulted in a number of different treatments and also a bone tra marrow transplant. And um, last October, um, you guys just were very supportive of that, and um, both in spirit and financially, and we appreciate that. But we wanted to, we wanted to honor Jana, and because um, she has family, and she also um, is just showed that spirit of the fact that you know what, um, uh, my trials and tribulations, and what I what I'm going across, um, there's still a smile on her face. And you've seen that in the show office. And um, so we would like to honor one of our 2022 recipient um, of the Becky Hansen Award to Jan Day. <laughs> our second award is uh, called the Darren Stanzik um, a Spirit of Raining. And, and, and Darren's um, saying was attitude is everything and um, so and Darren was like that he was uh, he approached life he approached his training he approached uh, coaching his non-pros in um, in his attitude and his attitude was you know what we're here on life we're going to enjoy life we're going to enjoy it you know what because guess what there isn't anything more humbling than this sport that we've all chosen to do yeah one day you get a good ride and the next day, it's just, that's a not so good ride. And um, so, you, you know what? It's your attitude and keeping that smile on your face, which is really important. Um, and that was Darren, and that was what he was all about. So our 2022 recipients um, <laughs> are, uh, um, uh, is a couple. We did that in, our, in 2020, um, Michael Jackson's. Michael here. He was. He, you, you can't help but hear Michael in the in, in, up here in the stands. He's great. And our 2021 was David and Terry Stroud. Well, in 2022, it's also a couple, and um, we felt that it was um, 
important to recognize um, this couple because of um, and a tremendous um, attitude uh, and generosity um, to um, just so many people in, in, in the reigning community. Um, I mean, they're not, uh, they've had enough strife in their life as well, but um, it's the others that are around them and their ability to come to the rescue, um, be the first ones on the site, on, on site, and then also rally others behind them. Um, just to, here's a couple of uh, statements from some of the other uh, folks that, that help support this. Um, oh, and so our 2022 recipients are uh, Jolene and Devin Warren from Colorado. <laughs> Jolene's not here. She's holding down the fort so that Devin can come and have a good time. So Terry Wagner, you guys know Terry, um, you know, uh, uh, another Colorado and who's now living in the great state of Idaho. Anyway, he, uh, he describes Devin and Jolene by saying, they've been friends and inspiration for so long. They're the epitome of living Jesus Christ in everything aspect of their lives. There's a, there's a need and they can do anything. Um, they're encouraging in every way and, and the financial support wherever they see a need. They're friends you can always count on through thick and thin. I love them dearly. Uh, and they constantly minister to a Guy Vernon. Uh, you know, when Guy Vernon passed away and Valerie is now trying to take care of And they were the first ones to be right there to help Valerie and, and uh, take care of her, the horses and help them get them sold and, and, have, con con and have continued to be right there to help Valerie. They were always upbeat and positive attitude. Encouragement rubs off on the entire uh, Warren Performance Horses team. Uh, their work ethic is beyond compare. Their willingness to guide their kinds to the process of fostering a partnership with their horses. You know, we are so pleased to recognize um, the gracious and unending support um, of Devin and Jolene Waring, our 2022 Darren Stancic Award winners. Thank you. It's not very often we get to catch Sherry Boardman at work, but here we are in her office. Now, Sherry, we love what you do with the Idaho Horse Park Foundation and, and what, what the foundation does for this park. I mean, it is so neat. It just grows. And we were talking about some upgrades that are coming. Can you talk a little bit about that? The upgrades that are coming, of course, is we're excited about the RV park. The RV park is going to make a huge difference to our participants. And we're so excited to have that coming down the pike. And it's coming soon. You have my word. It's coming soon. Well, we were talking about something else that's uh, possibly going up in here for our God and our country. Oh, is I love that, that exciting? So we have the best patrons in our park. The people that come to our park are so outstanding and giving and kind. And one of the patrons has offered to replace our American flag that hangs at the uh, south end of our arena. And we're so grateful to them. And so you're going to be seeing a spectacular new flag, hopefully by TKO. That'll be fun. So the TKO is coming in yes. June. We're here for the best little derby in the West. Now, the horse park accepts donations and and lives primarily off of donations and funds from people that can help out the horse park. And generally, they're asking for raffle tickets, this, that, and the other thing. This year, the horse park has or the horse park foundation has decided to give back. That's right. We're taking the year off of fundraising. Well, sort of. We're sort always of. fundraising. Yeah, they'll, all, they'll always But we want to give that. back to the wonderful people of the park that help make this park what it is. And so this year, we are doing some VIP nights for That's some of our exciting. competitors. Yeah. So as I understand, tonight at the Best Little Derby in the West, we're having a VIP night for the draw party. We are. We've donated a, a keg of beer, and we want all people to come and participate and partake. And as I understand, that opens at 5.30 and goes till the keg's gone. That's correct. So it's free beer, beer tonight here at the Best Little Derby in the West for the draw party. We're going to let you get back to work, Sherry. I see you're, you're always busy. Thank you. Coming up after the break, see a cowboy poet like no other. And I'll stand proud to be an American in a country that God has certainly blessed. This break is brought to you by... Magnum with a dream.
Preston, we're back at the best little derby in the West. We've interviewed you several times, and we've talked about a lot of different things. Magnum with a dream. Let's talk about him again. You bred him last year, so you've got foals hitting the ground this year. How's your foaling going? So it's been a good year. We've got a few babies. Uh, he's actually standing at South Valley. Oh, is he? And, yep, he's in South Valley in Saratoga Springs, Utah. Um, we've had some babies hit the ground this year. He, he makes a nice baby. Uh, we've had some with some color. I had some mares with some color, and they're all thick. They're all cute-headed. Um, I've really enjoyed also getting pictures from people who uh, are not in our barn that are sending me pictures of their babies that they love. And same thing, he makes a nice baby. He sure stamps them. So with him being, a, he's standing at South Valley now, so is he doing a lot of live cover and are you collecting or are you doing both or is just collecting now? Uh, just collecting, yeah, shipping anywhere. Tell me what it is about the Best Little Derby that you enjoy. Uh, just like all of Georgia's shows, they are they're run well. This is a great facility. It's always good classes, good, good added money, and it's not too far for us. We're only about four hours away. It's definitely something that we, we come to every year. That was what I was going to ask you with the new show coming up, the TKO. You plan on being here for that one? Absolutely. It's going to be a great show. It'll you be get, good. Like you said, four hours to go and have a shot at some big money. Absolutely. That'll be fun. Well, we're looking forward to the rest of the week, Preston, and you always do a great job, and thanks for being one of our premier sponsors. Thanks for having us. May I get a few seconds of your time to get some things off my heart? And I'm not forcing you to agree with me, just a little cowboy wisdom to impart. We have some elected leaders that don't know wrong from right, and you can only push a guy so far until he's finally forced to fight. You see, they've tried to turn us against each other with how we voted and the color of our skin. I think it's time we start picking our leaders by the depth of character that is within. See, we're only asking for God's judgment, and we're headed for certain doom when the ones that lead this country celebrate killing babies in the womb. And we have some rights as an American that have stood the test of time. Just because you're letting them have yours does not give you the right to take mine. Yes, we own guns, and that's our right, and we'll have as many as we please, because a man would rather die fighting from his feet than begging from his knees. And no matter how I wish to worship, my relationship with God is my own. Jesus is my Lord and Savior, and only He will sit upon that throne. Salvation's only found through Jesus, and that's why He died for me and you. Now don't let anybody try to be your God, no matter if they voted red or blue. And I'll stand proud to be an American in a country that God has certainly blessed. And I'll stand to honor our flag and our soldiers and I'll thank God for our home in the West. So you politicians, you better get to praying before you come for my Bible or my gun. I'll be dead and gone before you can have either one. As I see this country quickly fading, being given over to the evil ones, I beg of you today, dear patriots, don't lose grip on your God or your gun. champion number 475 Magnum Diamond and Sophie Gibson with a whopping 365 points huh your winner of a champion buckle an equine oasis saddle a Schneider's blanket and all the patents are back from Cy Hobby doesn't get any better than that Folks, I'm here with David and Terry Stroud. Man, 
the sponsorship that this group right here puts on. Let's talk about the Sky River Ranch a little bit, Dave and Terry. Tell us what's going on at Sky River because I hear there's a lot of changes coming on. We have some some changes. Yes, we had been a 50% reining barn, 50% dressage. Uh, Adam Johnson's been our trainer for the last uh, year and a half and and been doing a fantastic job for us. Uh, Currently, uh, Nicole Rennick is now coming in uh, starting the Aug- or June, June 1st. Yeah. Uh, so uh, a real nice change. Uh, and Adam and Nicole should make a really good team as they're currently engaged as well. Oh, man. Did you hear that? They just let the cat out of the bag. <laughs> I think it was out. Really it was somewhere. I think, I think it was out of the bag a little bit, but this just confirms it. Wait till we do their interview. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That'll yeah. be good for them. And I think they're going to be a great team. You know, I think they're going to be a great team. Now, no man's whiskey. Yes. Terry, let's talk a little bit about the stud. Is he standing at Sky he, River now? No, no. He is down at Oklahoma Equine Hospital and has been down there since, uh, let's see, I guess it would have been, was it November or was it before that? Yeah. Um, but yeah. he's been down there and he's just getting his future started and he seems to be enjoying his new job. So we're very excited about him. So let's talk a little bit about that. Are you doing any live cover with the stud or just all collecting currently? It's pretty much all collecting. Yeah. For right now. Yeah. And how many, what, how many full crops do we have out of him on the ground? We have only, he just went, he's just, just standing. now starting, but we do have one baby this year. That's just like a little over a month old. And we only did one breeding this year and we wanted to get one on the ground for this year. That's that's pretty awesome. So he'll be the first one to to prove. Yes, yes. Wow. Yep. And he is actually up at Rhodes River Ranch. Okay, with Sean and with and, and Jordan. Sean yep. and Jordan McBurney. Yep. yep. That's that's pretty neat stuff. And he's a Good. custom spookberry mare that was actually uh, Jenna Kelmer has ridden that horse uh, in the past and made quite a bit of money off of her. So it should be, it it looks like a great. He is just we're very excited about him. Little Palomino. Oh, so he's got the chrome too, the chrome to go home. Oh yeah, exactly. That's the neat thing, having three shows here and your sponsorship throughout the years. It's great to have you guys on board and I appreciate your time. Yeah, thank you very thank much. Thank you, it's very nice, thank you. After the break, we're gonna talk about the RV expansion here at the park. This break brought to you by the folks at Brighton Performance Horses. Folks, I am here with Thomas Brighton with Brighton Performance Horses. Thomas, let's talk about your program and what you do at home in your barn and, and how many horses you've got and what your what your program is right now. Um, you know, our, our program uh, is, is revolves around reining horses, obviously, um, and uh, you know we do it all. We do all the aspects of reining horses. We start with the two-year-olds and uh, and hopefully bring them up through their futurity year, and then keep them through their derby years, and then hopefully they all make good rookie horses later on. Are you are you breeding at your facility, bringing up colts from from babies, or, or are these a lot of your outside horses? You know, there's mostly outside horses, but the last couple of years, my wife in particular is kind of taking a little bit of the breeding thing under, under, uh, I guess her supervision under her wing, and that's kind of been her baby. So we've got a couple of home raised babies that we're just crawling on um, this year, and they seem to be going pretty good. So we'll we'll see if we're good at it or um, if we need to leave it to somebody else. Oh, I'm sure you're. <laughs> I'm sure you're going to be just fine with it. Let's talk about the best little derby in the West. How many times have you been to this show? Oh man, we've been coming for for quite a while. Um, I mean, I don't even know for sure how long the Best Little Derby's been going, but uh, I think we've been coming for seven or eight years probably. And you're out of the Idaho Falls area. We are. And so you are around George and Robin King quite a bit. We are. Yeah. And tell me about this show. What it means to you coming here? You know, we love the we love the Great Western shows. Um, they're just a great place for. And people like me to come and put some earnings on some horses and we don't have to drive across the country to be able to do it. Um, you know, George and Robin, they do such a great job putting these on and they take good care of us. And, you know, that's why we like to sponsor Great Western is uh, it's just a great group of people and um, they really care about horses and they care about all their participants. 
Well, now that's one of the that's one of the things that's going on with three now three shows are going to be at the same venue here in Nampa. Are you planning on coming to the TKO? Oh, we will be here. We will be here. As I understand, that's the place to put the earnings on the horses. There's going to be a lot of added money. Well, and it's it's exciting because I mean, where else can you go to run for like fifteen thousand in an intermediate open? Exactly. Yep. Thomas, it's been great visiting with you, and good luck throughout the week. Hey, thank you. The update for the RV park expansion. You know, we started out thinking that it was going to be something that was going to be quick, easy, we're going to be able to get after it, get going, get doing it. And like any other government regulated project, it has been very slow, but, but still promising. We had to go through a whole process of, um, getting bids on it we had to go through uh there's just all kinds of paperwork that has to be done um i want to say that it came in like about two million dollars which was more money than and that's right now what we're dealing with our economy you know the cost of everything's gone up and so um and so along with the bids for it um now the city's been really good the horse park foundation has been fantastic working on trying to get some of the extra money that was going to take to finish doing the project. The neat thing is, is that um, the whole vision on this thing is it's not just been RV parks or, or RV stations with power, sewer and, and water. They want to have like a, a small park area there for the kids to be able to go to. They want to have shower facilities there like we do here. Here in the main building, we have all kinds of shower facilities and stuff, but um, at the horse park or where the RV park will be, they want to be able to do that sort of stuff. They want to make it a full blown, make it so you can come and stay and enjoy yourself. And um, so they're, they're doing all the right things, but it's a slow process, but they, I think they've got it. They do have a, they, they do have a, a contractor now, all confidence. We'll see that we'll have it for the, uh, for the, the low roller. We won't have it for the TKO, but we'll have it for the low roller uh, and the Northwest affiliate finals. So we'll have it here by October. This break brought to you by the Napa Chamber of Commerce. I'm here with the beautiful Jill Kreider. She is the one that ties up all of the loose ends, head of marketing and events yes. here in the greater Napa Valley. That's right. Can you tell us a little bit about what's going on in Napa throughout the summer? Yes, there's a lot going on in Nampa that I'm really excited to share with you about. Nampa's closeness and proximity to Boise at lower costs and slower pace of life makes it a great spot for leisure travelers. Uh, Nampa is home to the Snake River Stampede Rodeo, the Ford Idaho Center, which includes an arena, a horse park, a world-class horse park, and an outdoor amphitheater. We're also home to the Warhawk Air Museum. We have the beautiful Lake Lowell and a great vibrant downtown community. That's one of the neat things we've seen coming into your facility here. Driving in, there's a great park. I'll tell you what, there's duck ponds, um, little all kinds of grass area for the kids to play. It is superb being here and the accommodations throughout Napa are wonderful. Can you talk a little bit more about what is going to be happening as far as events coming up with sure. the month of May? Sure. Here in the month of May, we have the best little derby in the West, of course, which we are excited to welcome back to Nampa. We also have um, high school sporting events happening here in Nampa. Um, we've got uh, concerts at the Idaho Center. We have concerts at our Nampa Civic Center and festivals and activity. It's always busy here in Nampa. Well, we're glad to have you on board and thanks for a great interview mm -hmm. and taking such good care of us while we're in the Valley. Thank you for coming. Thank you. To become a world, top 10 in the world, it's how much money have you earned, okay? Well, we're offering two slates of NRHA classes at the Bissell Derby and the Low Roller. And we've got three slates of classes at the TKO. So here's seven slates that have an opportunity for you to go earn money and get yourself in the top 10. This year provide an incentive for everybody to come to the TKO along with the other two shows. Come to all three of them um, and do that by offering some prizes at the end of the year. And we're talking nice equine oasis saddles custom bits, spurs, 
Um, we've got a whole ton of a bunch of prizes that we're going to give away. More great prizes that you get from the Great Western Ring or Association. Folks, that is a wrap on the best little derby in the West 2023. The Great Western Reigning Horse Association thanks each and every one of the exhibitors that came and played with us here. There was some great money won and some great stories to come. You're going to see a lot of this coming back. The stories, I'll tell you what, Stephanie Porath, repeat offender. She got two of them back-to-back -back best little derby wins in the non-pro division. Mason McDowell and his level, he's, he wanted the same song played. He plays his song. Wins twice, back to back. Best little derby last year, best little derby this year. It's amazing to see the camaraderie, the way these guys are playing. It's been such a fun show, and we're thankful to have been here. 2023, that's a wrap. This is how legends are made.